In this daily drop, I'm going to talk about the Crucial X10 Pro and also the less expensive version of this drive, the X9 Pro. So let's go. All right, kids, here we are. It's Tuesday's episode for the week, episode 147. And we're going to talk about these little drives. They're absolutely tiny, these SSDs, as you can see right here. And what I have in my hand is the X10 Pro from Crucial. It's a two terabyte version. They do make them all the way up to four terabytes. These are usually in the price range of about $170 to $190 US each which is pretty reasonable, and we're starting to see the price of SSDs come down. But what's interesting and important about this and the slightly less expensive X9 Pro that I have been using as well is the read-write speeds and the fact that at least from my tests, they seem to sustain those speeds quite well. I'm not a benchmark type person, but I have bought other SSDs in the past and had to offload footage in the field on location, on set, and run. I've run into issues with thermal management and drives like this slowing to a crawl. But I have to say that after using these X10 Pros for a while, that I'm not having an issue. Now, one thing I want to point out here is that you've got read speeds up to 2100 megabytes per second. You've got write speeds up to 2000 megabytes per second on these X10 Pros. The truth of the matter is the bus and the connection to, in my case, a MacBook Pro isn't actually capable of taking advantage of those speeds, which is the reason that recently I've started to buy the X9 Pros, which are about half the speed, but really are matched to the bus that's on at least my MacBook Pro here. Now, to my knowledge, there's no Mac that is capable of taking advantage of the faster speeds on the X10 Pro right now. So you're kind of paying extra money without getting extra speed. And that's part of the learning process. I do have to say that on a recent project, I did have the X9 Pro and the X10 Pro. I couldn't tell a difference in terms of the speed of the two drives. And not only are they great for being out in the field for offloading, I'll usually get two of these. Basically, one of them is the master and one of them is the backup for a particular day, a particular project. I just basically get doubles based on the amount of footage we're backing up. But I've actually very successfully edited off of these drives because they are fast. They're not as fast as your internal SSD on your computer, but they are fast. You can edit with them, and I am quite surprised that for the cost... Um, you're getting the type of performance that you're getting out of these. They're not the only drives you can get on the market. I am still a huge fan of the OWC Envoys. They're a little more expensive, so these are a little more cost-effective when you're offloading media in the field. And more than in the pinch, you can edit with them. I would probably say right now, unless your bus speed can support it, don't get the X10 Pro, get the X9 Pro, because they're probably a better match for your system overall. I'll put links to both anyway down there, but I actually have to order a couple more for an upcoming production. Don't forget to, and to, and I'll see you on the next episode of The Daily Drop.